This is The Rabbit Report. I am Rabbit. I'm very excited because tonight I'm going to be unboxing what is turning out to be the third in a series of Empire Strikes Back related unboxings. And what I've got here is the Chewbacca and C-3PO box set here. Um, as you can see, it has no number. I can't remember what this was exclusive to but it's obviously a deluxe set. On the side, you've got Chewbacca and C-3PO. On the back, kind of a silhouette of Chewbacca and C-3PO. A little blurb about how C-3PO is blown apart by the stormtroopers on Cloud City. Uh, yep, yeah. so let's get this unboxed. Uh, of course, C-3PO and Chewbacca were both created by George Lucas as well as Ralph McQuarrie who did brilliant, brilliant paintings for uh, Star Wars Episode Four in 1975-ish, I guess. Uh, when George Lucas was trying to get the film approved, the script approved to shoot. Uh, C-3PO, of course, was portrayed by Anthony Daniels. Uh, he's been in every version of Star Wars. I believe that Anthony Daniels is the only actor to be in every iteration of Star Wars. Um, Chewbacca, of course, was played by Peter Mayhew. And up until, uh, actually, up until 2015 when he retired from the role, um, he was in Force Awakens, but his health was ailing at the time. Um, so his body double, Yunus uh, Sotomo, took over the role from 2015 up until the present day. Uh, so you got your warnings, which nobody cares about. Uh, interestingly enough, you do have some directions because there is some assembly required with the this box set since C-3PO's limbs are detached um, and uh, you can fit in the little cargo net there which goes on uh, Chewbacca's back. I don't know how difficult that's going to be since I have never opened this before. We'll see. Anyway, so sadly Peter Mayhew uh, passed away in uh, actually, last year, 2019, I believe. Um, so almost exactly a year from now, or a year ago. So you've got C-3PO in the package with the cargo net, which goes on Chewbacca's shoulders. You've got C-3PO's main body. Um, what I find interesting is that Peter Mayhew was 7'2", he was a huge giant person. I uh, unfortunately never got a chance to meet him, um, but uh, Jonas Sotomo, who was also a Finnish basketball player, um, is like 6'11", so slightly shorter. Uh, so I guess going forward, Chewbacca is now just a little shorter, but Jonas Sotomo, who was also, who was in Force Awakens, also played Chewbacca in Solo as well as Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. So he's been Chewbacca pretty much ever since. Um, C-3PO, his head can go up a little bit, can go down a tiny little bit, not a lot of tilt. He does have a nice ball joint in his torso. I believe these pieces come off in order to get his legs on. Yep. There you go. And this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So these got a wired pieces for his arms kind of come off. Got a nice uh, Stormtrooper blaster, which actually has 
a little bit of color there, which is kind of unique for this box set. I don't think I've seen any of the other Star Wars Black Series uh, Stormtroopers blasters with that little coloring on there. Let's get uh, C-3PO's limbs out of the package here. Oops. Got an arm. Got a leg, right leg. Left leg, of course, with the silver on it, which I always love that little touch. Like, I, I, I'm a big fan of, like, asymmetry. Got another arm. The cool thing about these, these like, separate limbs is I can kind of show you the uh, articulation without them <laughs> being attached to the body, so that's unique. This is the first time that I've had any, like, Chewbacca figure in this uh in the star wars black series i know that there was a there's been a couple iterations of chewbacca but i've never managed to get a hold of chewy before and of course you have to have chewy he's one of the best like characters in star wars of all time um i feel like there's not going to be a lot of movement in the head i don't think he can even like look down or look back at all but I do like the detail of the face. It's very nice. I might like put a little bit of wash around his eyes just to bring out some more of the details, but I, I like it. I believe he's got a single elbow. Yeah, so it can go up to 90. No bowcaster, but of course he's got the, the uh, Stormtrooper blaster. Uh, his wrist can go back and forth as well as rotate a little bit. I like the little detail of the kind of fur covering his, his hand. Uh, so his arm can go up like that. I think it's about as high as it goes, so a little past 90. I can... Uh, Rotate all the way around. Uh, there is a ball joint at his uh, midsection there. So you do get a nice movement there. Not a lot of arc back, but pretty decent tilt forward. His leg can go up a little bit, but is uh, hindered by the fur around his crotch. He can go up like this. I believe this is also a single joint for the knee. Um, this is, uh, his knee is kind of like a rubbery piece, so it does hide a little bit of the articulation there, but I, I do like that, but I wish it was uh, more, art I, would, I would sacrifice uh, the, the mold for more articulation. And his foot does rock a little bit. And I don't know. Ugh. Go down a little bit and bend a little bit. So not, not the most articulated figure, but, uh, you know, he's a big, tall figure. So, I, I mean, you kind of need that. And if you have any... Han Solo figure, you, you kind of need a Chewbacca to go with him. Uh, and then, of course, this uh, bandolier is a separate piece that really wants to fall down. And uh, I don't think I'm going to take that off at all. I might even have to like glue it into place to make sure it doesn't fall off. And of course, I will have a size comparison with some other figures, but uh, let me show you C-3PO's limbs. He also has a single joint for his leg. Um, I think it just goes in like this. I also don't have a uh, Star Wars Black Series um, 
C-3PO. So this is the first one that, I, that I'll have. I have the uh, SH Figure Arts C-3PO, um, which is a really nice figure. It's really lovely. It's very well articulated. So you, there you go with his legs. I kind of wish there was an option. Oh, wait, yeah. If you put him in the, uh, maybe in the net, like his, you know, when R2-D2 re retaches his head, his head is backwards, which is like, of course, the big joke. So his legs don't go out very far, not very far at all. Um, they can go up a little bit. And of course, it, again, it is the single joint for the leg and the foot rocks back and forth as well as going up a little bit and down very nicely. Uh, so that's really cool. Let's get his arms on him. Um, they just go into the hole there. That snaps in. Uh, he has a rotation at the bicep. The arm can go up to there. Um, so there's a little cut where his uh, elbow is. He has a, I guess a single elbow, but it doesn't actually even like, oh, there's a moth in here. It doesn't even like, uh, you know, bend that far. So, you know, the articulation is okay on this. Um, to be honest, the SH Figure Arts has a better articulation, but you know, um, I mean, it's gonna be in the in the cargo net the, the entire time anyway, so I, I don't really care that much. So, oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was in there. So there we go. Oh! Okay. So there you go. You've got your C-3PO figure complete. Um, and I will compare him to uh, Chewbacca as well. And that's coming up right now. Okay, here we are in my photo booth with Chewbacca and C-3PO. Um, you can see Chewbacca is, is a really large, tall figure. And I actually really enjoyed that. Um, and I will have more photos of both these figures on Instagram at the Rabbit Report. Um, so you'll be able to see some really nice up-close photos of both of them. Uh, I do want to show you some of the nice detail on Chewie's face. Um, he might be a little cross-eyed, but uh, that's that really doesn't bother me. It's okay. Uh, getting his uh, blaster in his hand was really easy. And uh, let me give you a size comparison with some other figures, of course. First, let me start out with the SH Figure Arts figure. Um, you can see he's actually uh, significantly taller than the Star Wars Black Series. I believe that's because this figure is designed to go into the uh, cargo net. I don't know if the other iterations of this figure is uh, this short. So I think this one is actually... Um, closer to the proper scale for this character. Um, one thing I do want to mention, I actually like the detailing of the wires on this version of C-3PO better than this one. It's a little um, too, let's get the focus, a little too busy in the uh, SH Figure Arts version, but overall, um, you know, I got to say, like, I really love the details on the SH Figure Arts figure. So if you can track this down, I, 
I highly recommend it. Um, this version, of course, is going to go on Chewie's back for the duration of his life anyway. So uh, it doesn't really matter to me that this is um, not a perfect figure. I also noticed that the foot on, on this version of C-3PO is gold, as in this one it is silver. And I don't know which one is more accurate. And the truth is probably both of them, depending on which film let me also get a comparison for both of these with uh han solo you can see is shorter than chewbacca which he should be but also again uh taller than c3b which i think is accurate for those figures and then of course my favorite uh Hydro Bob, because why not? And Hydro, <laughs> re doing this, I realized like how tall Hydro Bob is. But uh, I'm going to um, put uh, C3PO back into the cargo net and put him on the back of uh, Chewbacca, so you will be able to see that right now. Okay. I managed to get C-3PO in the cargo netting and put it on Chewbacca's back. But I'm glad I didn't do that on camera because it was a pain in the butt. Um, but let me show you that real quick. So you can see you got C-3PO in the cargo net. And I was um, worried that there was going to be some bouncing issues with Chewie. Um, but he can stand up just fine with C-3PO on his back, no problem. Um, and the other thing that I did, and some people were going to be like, yeah, you ruined your figure, but I actually did uh, put some, uh, uh, I darkened up his eyes a little bit. Uh, I, I did a little wash, uh, brown wash around his eyes because I felt like it was a little too light around his eyes. I don't know if you can see that there. But, uh, you know, because if you do see Chewie in the film, you can see that, uh, you know, he does have, like, some darkness around his eyes. I believe, you know, the actor has some black eyeshadow to kind of cover up his eyes a little. Um, but there you go. I'll, I will have this on my turntable, and uh, that's coming up right now. Right, we've got the Star Wars Black Series Chewbacca and C-3PO in his cargo net. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends about this video if you enjoyed it. It's the best way to help support this channel, and I really do appreciate it. You can follow me on all social media at The Rubber Report. I hope you are staying safe, staying home, and wash your hands. And I will catch you on the next Rebel Report. Bye! Oh my! Don't forget to subscribe!